I'm back out in the woods again today doing some digging. It's about 80 degrees out here. And I'm looking for some old house sites. I have about 120 acres of nothing but woods. And there had to have been an old house site out here at one time. So we're going to give it a shot and explore this area and see if we can find some old houses. Let's get to it. One thing to keep in mind when you're looking for old house sites is they would never build in a flood zone, which would be down there. The creek is right down there about 30 yards, and all that's too low, and if they built a house there, it would get flooded and probably wash away if a big storm came. They would always build on top of a hill, just like that. So that's where you'd want to look, up on a hill overlooking the creek, not down beside the creek. Now, beside the creek is a great place to find, to find stuff, but they normally wouldn't build their house five feet from the creek. I think I just found an old house site. I see a tin roof in there. Let's go check it out. Yep. Look at that. Old house site. On top of the hill. Overlooking the creek down there. Wow, wasn't much of a house. Round nails in it. There's a couple square ones in there. Still, I think it's worth detecting. Let's look over here. This could be the barn. This place is pretty awesome. Thing's weird. That's a fake tree stump. Thought it was a whale. Here we go. Maybe the house was up here. Man, there's vines everywhere in here. Probably a lot of poison ivy too. Oh man, look, the chimney's still standing. Let me put my detector down for a second and we'll walk over there. There's a bottle. place is pretty awesome. Has to be some relics here. Oh man, it's got a cellar hole I think. No way! Oh my goodness! This is awesome! Wow! What a house! Has like a little cellar. Man! Here's some of the foundation rocks. Old daffodils all over the place. There's the chimney. This place is awesome. I don't know if it's ever been dug or not. We're about to find out. Wow. I think it's gonna be a great day of digging. I'm not getting too many signals around the house. So I decided to dig inside of it. And the first thing I found is a nice old buckle. Probably horse related. That's neat. Has to be some old money down in here. You'd think anyway. I want to keep on digging. Maybe I'll find some more. I have a really good signal here. I'm digging beside this shed foundation. It's really shallow, whatever it is. Oh man! It's a spoon. Old spoon. Wow, that's pretty neat. This might actually be inside the old shed. I think it is. There's a foundation stone right here, so I'm probably digging inside of it. I just located a little mouse. He's not scared of us. Hey, little guy. Oh, there he went. <laughs> I just got an amazing got signal here. It showed up in the 80s and it was down a couple inches deep. Not sure what it is, but that looks like some type of old tag. Oh, wow. That could be rare. I doubt it. We'll see what it says. Oh, man. I'm not sure. I'll have to clean it up. Neat little tag. It says quality Seaman bodies. 
Nash Seaman factories. Almost a century of craftsmanship. Right there. Could be a flat button too, you never know. Could be. I think it oh a wheat penny. Wheat penny? Yeah. That's nice. That's awesome. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> We have to look and see what year it is. Yep. Good job. Thanks. I just got a really good signal here. And it looks like a button. Not sure what type. It has to be a button. Yep, it is. Maybe World War II or World War One. Let's see. It's a great seal button. That is awesome. Let's go dig some more. Old spoon showed up in the 50s, right at 51, just like a nickel. That's I cool. just got an amazing signal here, showed up as an 82. And I flopped open the plug, and look at that, it's silver. What type of dime is it? Uh, it's a rosy dime, it's not that old. Let's see if we can get a date on it. It's like 1947, I think. That's neat, it's silver. I'll take it out here in the field. That is I just sweet. Got an amazing signal over here, and I open the plug and check out what it is. That right there looks like old skeleton key. Oh man, it's missing the top portion, but I'll take it. That is awesome. Unbelievable. Having a killer day. We're in here, it's an 81 signal. Down in the bottom. Oh, it's a coin, I think. It sure is. An old coin. Probably a wheat penny. That's what it looks like. Yep, it's a wheat penny. I can tell by the back. Sweet. That's a great find. I'll have to clean it up later and get a year off of Stuck it. Stuck up a Model T Ford hubcap. It's in pretty bad shape. But they're neat to find. Here's my finds for today. Had a pretty good hunt. Took a Model T Ford hubcap. It's in terrible shape. It's probably been ran over. This right here is more than likely a curtain rod ball. I don't think it's a bedpost knob. And it's uh, it's too small to be off a horse hain. So I'm sticking with a curtain rod ball. Went on the end of a curtain rod. I have a spoon. I find so many of those things. Uh, neat little skeleton key. Not sure how old it is, but it's a cool little find. I have a great seal button. Could be from World War One. I. I think it may. Because I dug a 1914 wheat penny about five feet away from it. The coolest find to me will have to be this tag. It says quality seaman bodies. And I looked them up and it was a company that produced auto bodies for old cars and trucks back in the day. And I think this is from the 30s. Could be a little older, but when the companies joined, that was in the 30s. I have a 1947 silver dime. It's in really good shape. Some other odds and ends. A pocket knife handle, a few buttons. This one says Fort Hill, old overall button. And this is probably some type of, well, it could be a old clock wander. I'm not sure now. It's like it says 83 or 88 on there. It's made out of brass. And also dug a bunch of clad. We stopped by a house somebody lived in on the way home, and they threw money all over the yard. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Good luck, and happy hunting.